Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload at least one video like this. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And guys, please hit that like button for me. It helped the video a lot. Let's get started. As usual, guys, we're going to take a look at all the majors, including gold and oil. So as you may know, I always do a top down analysis on my chart. So we're starting on the weekly time frame on the Dixie here. And we will see that last week we had a very nice bullish uh, candle here after this uh, a couple of hammer down here we had a bullish uh, candle with a close above previous highs so seems like the dollar is preparing for some kind of a reverser which i think at least going to be toward the uh, 92 area up here uh, before any continuation to the downside because if we take a look at it like this we're still in uh, some kind of a bearish strong bearish trend and a little bit of a correction would not be um, strange to have a correction toward that area to then maybe who knows get another leg to the downside and um, probably tag these previous lows so if we go down to the daily time frame we see also that we start having um, the uh, shape here which look like as an inverted head and shoulder the neckline is still not um really broken well it is actually broken on the dixie to be honest as you see we had a a, a close here above these previous highs on the daily so uh, technically the neckline is um, could be considered broken now and uh, if we go further down to like the four hour time frame we see which uh, structure i've been talking about i mentioned this structure in my uh, last week's overview as well you see that the the um, four hour time frame the market is trading above the 200 moving average which we had uh, a bit of issue to break above it lately a couple of times but then on friday we have a nice break above that and uh, as we saw earlier we have now a break and close above this previous high so the uh, dollar reversal seems to be uh, good and going right now and uh, as far as that is the case and as far as we are making higher highs and higher lows and trading above this trend line i think we might continue higher on the dollar keep this channel in mind because uh, next week we might see a push back up here a break above previous highs could be something good a stronger one and then start uh, a continuation to the upside so this is what i'm looking for on the dollar for the upcoming week uh, gold holding below uh, the uh, previous um, break we had so uh, we had uh, this uh, nice impulse to the downside on the four hour let me check the daily first guys so we know where we are at um, as i've been talking earlier uh, in my previous overviews we said that the 200 moving average on the daily uh, been an important level um, as you saw here we had a little bit of a break to then the, the market broke higher again also here we had a little bit of a break and a higher uh, move after that and last week uh, on friday we had a close yet one more time below the 200 moving average in my opinion we might after this impulse this correction we might see another extension back down toward 1777 area on gold especially if this momentum continue like this and as i mentioned also in the weekly overview last week that if we break below this structure we might start looking for a potential continuation to the downside so at the moment it is not looking good as far as gold uh, does not break back above these levels it is uh, sell rallies until 1777 in my opinion uh, oil been uh, nicely uh, bullish going strongly to the upside if we check the weekly time frame here we saw that the market been testing actually the 200 moving average on the weekly and uh, last friday after a, a deep test above the 200 moving average we saw that we end up with a doji we had a couple of dojis previously and the market kept pushing higher so this should not be alone a signal yet but if we go down to the one uh, to the daily time frame we saw also on friday that we had a 
nice and strong bearish engulfing candle with a break below previous lows so there is potential um, uh, correction back down here and in my opinion that correction could be a move uh, back down toward 49 area to tag uh, to test this uh, previously broken structure going down to the four hour time frame we have a nice um, break out of the channel a retest which now make a double top scenario and a break and close below the neckline so the double top is confirmed on oil and as i said earlier potentially we might start seeing a little bit of a correction back down toward this area on oil so as far as there is no break and close above these previous highs i think we might start to see some kind of a correction toward the 4950 area on uh, this market euro usd so uh, broke lower as uh, i mentioned uh, in my weekly overview and in the live stream that we've done on trading view uh, by the way guys um, if you're not following me on trading view do so go to trading view do a search for pa-fx and you will find me because i i will start making um, uh, some streams uh, live streams on uh, trading view as well so um, yeah, uh, as I mentioned during that streaming that we had this uh, strong divergence on the daily and uh, that there is a potential break to the downside, especially after we saw the market breaking below this, uh, this trend line as well. And also uh, last week on Friday, there was a break and close below this structure, break and close below the 200 moving average, monthly pivot point at that area as well. So for now, looking for a retest toward uh, this area, especially at around the monthly pivot point and looking for a continuation move all the way back toward 1.19. So uh, this is my uh, plan for the next week on the euro. But keep in mind that this little structure here might give it a little trouble. I hope that this structure will give it the bounce uh, it is needed to uh, do that correction to then start looking for a continuation to the downside um it is a good risk to reward trade if we get a correction back toward this area um, if we target uh, down here it would be a um, great scenario actually stop loss does not be need to be so uh, much above this previous high it could be like uh, 20 15 pips above previous high and still give you good uh, risk to reward trade even if you want to trade toward this previous low it will give you almost a one-to-one -one, but uh, all the way down here is the main idea on uh, this uh, on this one uh, sterling uh, sterling usd so check the daily time frame we've been in a bullish trend we're still in a bullish trend uh, looking at the structure here we have higher highs and higher lows but keep in mind that uh, the last uh, week uh, move here there was no break above previous high showing a little bit of a weakness and in my opinion at least we're going to see a correction toward the monthly pivot point area down here on uh, on the sterling a retest toward this area is what i'm expecting on this one guys and uh, last week it is clear here we had this double top we have the break of the neckline as you see here the neckline is broken now i'm looking for a retest and continuation potentially a 2618 uh, trade depends on when the market start uh, the correction to the upside we do not know yet which at which at what area the market will start making that correction to do the uh, the, the fibonacci um, retracement but all in all after the break below this neckline i'm looking for a retest and continuation at least toward this area as i said to then after that when the market reached this area it is a good level to take profit and uh, maybe half of the position or, or something like that to then start looking if we're gonna see more pressure below this level and continue to next area which is at around the monthly s1 uh, here on uh, sterling usd okay usd jappy it's time for a little bit squeezing on this one as we saw we had a nice strong uh, break to the upside they failed to break above the uh, monthly r1 here at around the 104.38 area the, the 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 pair failed to break higher we had a strong rejection to the downside we had a pushback up and uh, another lower high and there is now a, a little bit of a potential pressure building up so if this happens once again next week that we get another lower high here the market failed to be and the market failed to break above previous high 
and this happen i think we might see a break to the downside and continuation but if the market now managed to move back up strongly break above previous high then we could start looking for a potential continuation but for that to happen a break to the upside the stock market need to shape up also and uh, push higher and it seems like uh, at the end of last week we had a little bit of a down pressure on the stock so uh, that would be a correlation if the stocks move to the downside then potentially this will also follow even though we might get a stronger dollar okay USD chief also um, looking uh, potentially ready for a break to the upside. If we check the, the daily time frame, we see that uh, we have a potential inverted head and shoulder here as well. The neckline is very uh, clean here and waiting only for the break above it to then see the next move to the upside toward at least monthly R1 or also up toward monthly R2 if uh, they manage to enter back inside this area here so for next week what i'm looking at on this market is to watch on the lower time frame like the four hour and the one hour waiting for potential break to the upside then look for a retest and continuation if you are a breakout trader then you might uh, go long on um, uh, with a, a uh, an order here a stop order uh, and um, going long um, I do not like to trade uh, these as a stop order so I would like to see a break to the upside then I would put a limit order down here in this area targeting uh, this uh, monthly R1 and um, yeah as a stop loss um, placement that would be something like uh, let me take this uh, tool here uh, let's say uh, we have the breakout then I would target uh, as I said monthly or one stop loss below uh, these previous lows here because this is a good start structure to, to work with so we put a limit order and waiting for a target to uh, uh, reach or a stop loss to reach yeah but usually these patterns um, are a, a build up for a potential breakout here it is getting ready for that breakout that's what I see on uh, USD chief USD CAD also a nice break out of the uh, descending channel here as you saw last week the market did go back down to monthly S1 had a very uh, hard time to break below it so right now we had a nice uh, double bottom scenario here and uh, if we go down to the four hour time frame we saw it clearly last week uh, the market uh, broke out of the, the the channel and kept pushing to the upside so looking good now for a potential reversal after this strong move higher so for next week waiting to see if the market will test one more time here if they do so and they fail to break below back once again that would mean potential continuation to the upside so I will keep an eye on this area to see if we're gonna retest that level or if we end up making some kind of a bullish flag correction and then a break to the upside that could also be a way to play it yeah it is always good to uh, be ready for what the market may give you it is not easy each time and say yeah we're gonna see this or we're gonna see that it is much better to have a couple of plans ready in case the market does one of them you go for it Aussie USD so uh, those of you who have been with me in the live stream on trading view I've been saying guys when the market start making these uh, triangles or uh, these uh, squeezing patterns be careful about fake out before the market goes and I told you keep an eye on a potential break to the downside and then upside or a break to the upside and then a total collapse to the downside and that exactly what happened last week as you saw here we had a strong push push to the upside uh, many traders went long here on the break above the trend line because this is usually the textbook what the, what the textbook tell you and um, many of them had uh, maybe stop losses below this they are now all gone for sure so uh, it is very important to keep that in mind when you start seeing this pattern this squeezing pattern the triangles happening be careful about this scenario so exactly uh, the expected happened the market pushed strongly to the downside and now we might see continuation but keep an eye on the major trend line we had keep an eye on this uh, previous low down here first 
because we may see a little bounce uh, to the upside once again. So as far as this trend line is not broken, you still could see uh, Aussie USD testing this area and moving for one more to the upside. But as far as you see it breaking below this level, look for a correction and then continuation toward uh, 0.75 down here is uh, the first uh, target that I'm expecting if the market would break this uh, trend line as well. And uh, New Zealand USD uh, also been very easy traded, also mentioned in the uh, live stream that we've done on uh, TradingView that all we need to do is uh, sell the highs by the lows of this range. And uh, the last move was sell the high here, expecting potential break to the upside, take half profit here on this, and then wait for the continuation. And uh, what we've got was a nice bounce and break below, retest, and now we're having continuation. I'm expecting this to continue moving to the downside, especially that we have a break and close below structure, even though it is testing the 200 moving average the first time, it bounced nicely from that. But I think for next week, we might see a continuation at least toward this uh, level down here. So I'm expecting this area to be next target. So the trade would look something like this. You wait for a, uh, for the market to give you a retest toward this area, targeting these previous lows stop loss above previous high that would be uh, a, a very nice uh, trade idea if it happens and we've got a retest toward this area to then look for uh, target ones uh, target two um, is uh, a little bit further down depends on if the market will give us a move all the way back toward this area or not before it might continue in the main direction but as first target i think it is pretty um, pretty safe to say this is a good risk to reward trade already and uh, if uh, that would be the case it would be lovely to see this uh, uh, trade happen next week so uh, yeah that was it for this week guys i will um, uh, try to make a live stream on uh, trading view as well as i said so make sure to follow me over there as well thanks a lot do not forget to hit that like button and see you next week bye bye